welcome back to another episode of Two Hungry Diners with me, Peter and Oni. Today we are doing something really special. We are going to do glamping. glamping. We're gonna tell you more after we arrive at the locations. You know, we can't wait to show you guys around and follow us along. And yeah, should Stay be fun. Tuned. We are here at Kosi Tens. Yeah, this is our glamping Side, location. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I'm so excited. This glamping activity has been in our bucket list for a long, long time. And finally, the day has come. We arrived at the glamping site that we chose today, which is in Dallas Fort, Victoria, Australia. Yes, we saw a lot of people talking about this specific glamping. It's Kelsey Tents, and they say it's a good experience, you know. And you know, Australian loves camping, and they spend like I don't know, most of the summer holiday, you know, camping outside with the families and stuff. Yeah. But for us, we never really get a chance to like camp, camp yeah, in Australia. In Australia. <laughs> so this is as close as we can get to camping. Yeah, you just know, for one night though. Yeah, just for one night. But yeah. it's really close to nature, you know. It's very quiet, you know, it's very calming, relaxing yeah. uh, kind of experience. And yeah, and this is our tent, tent actually. Yeah. But it's not also too small. So the furniture they have here is like a Scandinavian style, which I like. Ooh, they even have two armchairs. Nice. Oh, my head is stuck though. <laughs> So guys, the next one that we're gonna show you is the toilet. The toilets are outside, outside the tent obviously, and it's shared. So they have two showers and two toilets. So four in total for 12 tents. I'm not sure how it's gonna work out, but let's see later. <laughs> not too bad though. So they have showers here, toilet bowl, and the sink with the shampoo, conditioner, and body butt. Yeah, it's, it, it feels quite luxurious to me. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Although just the number of the toilet that concerns me. <laughs> you think so? I don't know. So guys, this is the first barbecue area, which is the one that is closer to the reception. This is quite small, but it has um, two barbecue gas burner let's go we saw a lot of people are bringing their own s key they're bringing their salad and stuff we don't know what they are gonna cooking what they are gonna be cooking tonight but for us we bring burgers so we're gonna cook it in one of these gas burner thing this is very nice and if you want to cook if you're gonna pan fry something you can use this one they have a pan, right? Yeah, yeah they, they have pan. Yeah, they provided the pans, you know. They also have the olive oil, the salt and pepper. They even have the tea, coffee. They provided the cup, cutleries, you know. This is gonna be very, very nice. And yeah, as I mentioned before, as we mentioned before, there are two barbecue areas. Uh, that one there is actually the bigger one, but there are some people cooking. So we're gonna check it out later. So the next one, we're gonna check out the um, fire pit. This is very nice, especially during the winter, right? Mm. So you can sit in front of the fire pit, which they they light it up already. 
because it's not nice. And we're gonna we're gonna burn, not burn. We're gonna cook some marshmallow stick as well tonight. This is the second uh, kitchen area. So obviously this is bigger than the first one and they have three barbecue burners, one portable stove and yeah the usual stuff, the, the sink and uh, some tools for barbecue and also right, right in the center is the big communal table so you can have your, your meal there sharing with other people. What do you think so far? Yeah, I like it. I I like the area. It's very peaceful, relaxing. The facilities are great as well. I like the kitchen area. Have we mentioned about the price before? No. Okay. <laughs> so, we told you guys before there are three types of tents that you can book, right? Like the basic one, the middle, and the most luxurious one, which is the bigger, the biggest bigger, tent. Yeah, biggest tent. And we book for the, the like a mid level. Yeah. Uh, so the price for that one is two hundred and eighty Australian dollars. Two hundred eighty five dollars. Yeah, two hundred eighty five. Yes. And that's for one night. And we also ordered a breaky box breaky for box. tomorrow morning. So and the breaky box costs forty five dollars, which is you know quite expensive. Yeah. For breakfast, but. We just want to have the full experience. Yeah, yeah, because we don't know when we're going to do it again, right? So yeah. we might as well do it now. Yeah, like, we're going to spend the rest of the evening uh, with cooking, enjoying the fire pit, have some ginger drink. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of away from all the busyness, you know? Yes. For dinner tonight, we're gonna cook burgers. We're gonna try for the first time that barbecue burner. Uh, <laughs> we finally made it, made our own burger. Wow, it's getting cold though. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna have these burgers uh, in front of our tent. Yeah. Is that overcooked? No. A little bit. A little bit overcooked? Yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. There's no pink anymore what? in the middle. Yeah, guys, after the dinner before, the early dinner, so we probably spent like about an hour just to chill out, relax, you know. This bed is quite comfy as well. Um, yeah, I mean, it's camping after all, so not much you can do. Um, there is no TV, there is no computer, there is no like, you know, yeah, our usual stuff. Usually we watch telly, things like that, but yeah, it's camping, but yeah. Luckily, we have internet connections here and they have external speakers, so we just play Spotify music. It's nice, right? <laughs> okay, right now we're gonna go outside. We're gonna cook leftover burgers, patty, because we bought four. So, yeah, we're gonna cook the rest of them. And there is a fire pit going on, so we brought some marshmallow. Maybe we, you know, we get that going as well. And then we sleep early and then wake up early. I think it's a little bit of change of environment is good for us. And yeah, let's check it out. Just making myself instant noodle because I'm not satisfied with the burger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure where is everyone. I thought it's gonna be like, because the weather is so nice, everyone's gonna be here chatting, you know, but everyone is I think in their own tent. So we're gonna sit there, enjoy, yeah, you know, before we sleep. Let's go. So good, right? Mm. Camping with instant noodle, oh, perfect.
Good morning, guys. Good morning. It's about 8 a.m. in the morning. We already shower and basically we're ready to go. And yeah, we thought we show you guys around um, some beautiful nature. We also uh, we already saw some kangaroos before. Yes. Right over there. So I thought we give you guys a little bit of tour, like the nature around here as well, the environment. Mm -hmm. And yeah, while we're waiting for the breakfast, the brekkie box to arrive. To arrive. <laughs> So guys, uh, before we show you guys around the area this morning, I want, I'm going to talk about the bed first. Uh, the sleeping experience last night, uh, it was great, I like the bed, it's comfy, I can sleep uh, last night. Uh, although I, I think I woke up a few times because I could hear the, uh, the sound of the wind. I thought it's, it was rain, but no, it's actually just the wind, it's quite strong. Yeah, other than that, I slept like a baby, I think. It's, it's very enjoyable night, I think. So, we saw some kangaroos there. Oh yeah, I saw it, I saw it. But I don't think we can zoom in that far because of yeah. the lens. <laughs> Ooh, breakfast is here. Let's check it out guys. Oh, it comes with a, a bottle of thermos. Oh, very nice. So two croissants, one banana bread, one slice of banana bread. Ooh, orange juice. Like it. A bowl of fruit. Um, I don't know what this is, the blueberry compote maybe. And yeah, milk and some uh, cereals or muesli cereals I think this one here mm. so that's it that's the end of our glamping experience I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, we certainly did enjoy this experience yes. what do you reckon the whole experience? yeah I like it I like it this um, the, um, one thing I like the most is the relaxing atmosphere, the relaxing surrounding and then, you know, the whole thing is just uh, to be able to, you know, away from the normal activities. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always nice, Wait, it's always nice. Yeah. <laughs> will you do it again? Will we do it again? I think I will do it again, but not particularly in this camping site. Yeah. I'll try the other glamping site as well. But anyway guys, if you have glamping before or have any experience with camping in general, let us let know us in the know. comment below. Yeah. What, what's your favorite thing to do when you camp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because like when we was here last night, like what are we going to do here? <laughs> yeah, it's unique experience and yeah. we will surely do it again at different location. <laughs> and yeah, if you like this video guys, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to help our channel to grow we post a new video every sunday and that's it right that's it yeah that's yeah. it from us hope you guys enjoy our video hope you if you haven't tried glamping already make sure you check it out yep. see if this inspires you to do the same <laughs> <laughs> okay and yeah stay foolish stay hungry bye bye, bye.